You know what this is? This is glass. It's the same glass that's in the windows of your house or the windows of your car. It just happens to be in strands. We take this and we turn it into this. But the real question is how do we do it and why is it better? Okay, how we do it, we use molds like this, then we spray gel coat on it, then we spray fiberglass using a tool like this, right? So it's called a chop gun. So this gun will feed this through here. This will chop it. And then we've got resin, so glue, which comes out of this part. And we use it to spray into the mold. And then we roll it to get rid of air, but we'll show you that in the video. Why is it better is the key question that a lot of people ask. The reason it's better is when we build a travel trailer, we build it with the shell first. So we build a really strong exterior structure on the travel trailer that will not leak and it's a one piece structure. So one piece structures are incredibly strong and incredibly durable. This is essentially a travel trailer that you only ever need to buy once and it will last you the rest of your life. You can see the roof on the top part of the shell structure over here. You can see there are no seams in this. It is one piece, like right? So that shell is one piece, this part's one piece. When we put it together, we make the entire travel trailer into a one piece shell. There are no seams, there's nothing to leak. And one of the biggest problems that plagues standard or normal travel trailers is the fact that they separate the panel seams and they leak. And after a couple of years, you have an awful lot of costs to maintain them and keep them waterproof, really stop your trailer from rotting from the inside out because of the water that's coming in through those seams. So we beat that problem with a fiberglass trailer that's essentially made from glass and glue, but building it with a one piece fiberglass shell. Join me now as we have a look at how we make this. So of course, building a better trailer requires having a better mold. And this is a very high quality mold. This is our fifth wheel. The great finish that you see on this mold is exact replicas of finish that we will see on the final trailer shell. Now, of course, to make sure that the product comes out of the mold really easily, it's like greasing a baking pan. So what they're doing in here is they're putting a release agent on. After they've put the release agent on, then they will spray the gel coat. And the gel coat is essentially the exterior of your fiberglass travel trailer. You can see this gel coat going on. Of course, they had done one half of it and they spun it around now to complete the second half of the, of the trailer. This goes on at prescribed thicknesses. So what you'll see here is this is a skilled operator spraying the gel coat on and then at various points along the shell, he's going to check the thickness of the application just to make sure that he's done it correctly. And they won't apply everything in one hit. They'll go across this three different times to apply the thickness in three different applications. Now, after they finished the gel coat and it has cured, it is time to apply the chop, which is the fiberglass that I've shown you earlier, combined with the resin. As we're spraying this on, you'll notice these guys rolling it out with those rollers. Now those rollers are bristled rollers, like spikes on them. And that is because as this starts to cure, it gives off heat. So the temperature rises and of course, any air that's trapped while we're spraying the fiberglass will expand. And if it expands, it's going to create bubbles in the fiberglass. So their job with this is to roll it out, roll out all the air and get it out of the fiberglass. So you can see a beautiful application here. Some of that lighter stuff you see is what's called fiberglass matting. And that matting is like a woven cloth made of fiberglass. We put that strategically into specific areas on the trailer just to locally strengthen certain parts of the trailer. Then, when that is all cured, we're getting ready to put the floor into the trailer. Now, what you'll notice here, of course, is that the bottom of the trailer is also fiberglass. So we really are making a fiberglass tub or shell. This makes it really easy. Once we spray chop down on the floor again, this will enable the floor to bond. So this pre-cut on our CNC wooden floor that we bonded and glued together and then we drop it straight onto the floor and it fits really nicely 
onto the floor and that for us reduces any warpage it also reduces the ability for any critters to get up inside your trailer now in order to bond this floor in place we need to weight it down a little bit so we have some bars on there that kind of hold everything together hold it flat and then we'll drop the weights on top and those weights will force that wood down onto the floor of the trailer of course that resin that we saw spraying on earlier onto the bottom those a couple of things it will bond the wood to the floor but it will also seal the wood so the chance of any of this wood rotting is extremely low last weight goes on so we'll leave it here for a few a few minutes it'll all bond on properly then they'll take those weights out after taking those weights out the next step for them is going to be to put the top shell on top so you line it up and they drop the top piece onto it now this is ready to come out of our fiberglass booth and the final stage we bond these two shells together so you can see that little blue line across there that's just some tape we put on because there is a cut line obviously between the two shells and then we go along with matting the matting i was talking about earlier we'll put that onto the seam area and then we'll use a resin we'll bond those two shells together and the thickness and the bonding is the same as we have on the rest of the trailer again he's rolling out air air just seems to get in everywhere so where he's rolling there, you can see how much extra matting and resin he's put onto the trailer. Doing a nice job. That's it, right into the corners. Roll it out, make it look good. Okay, so now that that is finished and we've allowed it to cure some more, so it's really well bonded. Now we're able to pull this shell out of its mold. That is a beautiful example. Look how shiny, look how clear and beautiful that product is coming out of the mold and that is all a function of the mold and of course the exceptionally high quality gel coat that we use in our process so we see that mold and it's still looking beautiful and shiny that will go away get cleaned and we'll go back into process again now we drop the chassis underneath and our shell can go straight on so as you can see again this is like a full tub fiberglass bottom and top a complete one piece travel trailer just dropping some air in. Air helps us to just pop the fiberglass part out and they'll lift that top mold off. And there we go. We're left with the final finished fiberglass part, a one piece shell, and it's ready for the next stage of our assembly process. And that's how we go from strands of fiber that are made of glass to a beautiful one-piece fiberglass travel trailer that's built to last. Thank you very much, everybody. I'm Carl at Escape Trailer. And remember, we're built for you. <laughs>